Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of a VCV Rack. It is a software that emulates a Eurorack uh, modular synth environment. What makes it really super awesomely cool is it's free. And to top that, it's also open source. So you're going to be able to see new modules being plopped in. They have many. Uh, we're going to be starting with just with just the basic ones. And uh, yeah, it's for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And I believe they are working on a VST version coming soon. I really hope development continues. I saw this on Reddit. I'm not endorsing it. Um, they're not paying me. I'm just really excited. You know, this is, this is kind of cool. I've never been a a modular synth kind of guy, even though I like hardware synths, and I've, I've never really been into them. Uh, there's a gigantic barrier to entry, and yeah, this might actually uh, change it. So yeah, we're going to drop in here. I hope it doesn't crash, because it, it probably maybe absolutely did the last video I did, but we're going to restart, and uh, yeah, so... First thing we need to do is we need to, you know, we open it up. We need to set up a way for the audio to get out of this. And uh, how it works is you right click and you can add things. We're going to add our first thing, which is a core, uh, sorry, core audio interface. This is basically how it talks to the outside world. Um, I hope this isn't that confusing. I have a few interfaces, uh, but I'm just going to use my Sapphire. And there it is there. I'm going to have that all the way to the right because that's the output. I, I program things left to right. And I'm going to do something, and I don't want you to question me because I'll explain why in a moment, but I'm going to add a VC mixer here right at the end. Exceptionally important. So one thing we need to do is teach teach it how like what note means what or even like when a note is received and what to do. So we need to add in a MIDI interface, which you know you might see in the real world. Um, some there there might be a module out there that uh, has a MIDI input that is converted into CV. Uh, CV means control voltage. So what it does is it takes the, it'll take a, a how, how these modules talk to each other is they communicate via voltage, right? So, you know, it, it all depends on the duty cycle, it'll be like negative one volt to one volt, which will be a duty cycle. And you, you can have that in different shapes. That'll be a sine wave. And there's also the pitch, which is controlled by a voltage amount, which would be like, um, as you go up in voltage one, two, three, four, you actually go up an octave and so on. So uh, yeah, it works um, and it's not very unstable and kind of weird, but you know, very flexible, and that's how you get the analog sound anyway. So I'm going to select my Virus TI synth input for the MIDI, which is the keyboard here in front of me. And I want to add a sound generator. I don't know why I'm talking so weird right now. It's almost midnight. A sound generator, and I'm going to be using a VCO for that. It's a voltage-controlled oscillator. And this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate why I'm using a mixer in this way. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add in... No, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to just drop this in to channel 2 and drop the output to channel 1. And you'll notice that it's only on one side of the speaker. And it's rather irritating. So what you can do, so I'll just take that out. I'm going to drop it into channel 1. And then have the output of the top mixer to 
output one and the channel one to output two. And for some reason that makes it stereo. Right? So yeah, that's basically, we patched in something. Patched in the square wave out of the VCO into channel one. And what these oscillators do is they just oscillate. They just go on forever. Like the sound, it'll go on forever. Mind you, we can change the pitch. We can do all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, I'm going to put that back. And uh, we can do all sorts of things, but there's no way to kind of control it. Think of this as like a free running LFO. Just goes on forever. All right. I want to change that. I want to drop in something called an amplifier. Right? And that is called a VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier. So you notice that these have V in front of it, V and C. What this means is that you can control these values with voltage over time. It's amazing, right? It's one of those things. So what you can do is you can take your saw wave and go into the input of this VCA. And then to your, from the output of the VCA into the input of the mixer, which for all intents and purposes is our audio interface to the outside world. And if we turn that up, we can control this level and adjust things. So say we want to have that open like an ADSR. So we can do more creative things with it. We will plop open an ADSR. And then we'll have the output of that ADSR. I'm just going to have it down here just for the, the sake of cables and confusion. Output of this ADR, ADSR will go into one of these two uh, modulator inputs. We're going to patch this in. And we're going to stick with linear. This is basically how it's controlled, if it's exponential or linear. We'll just stick with linear just because it, it sounds neat. Okay, so nothing's happening. Oh, no, nothing's happening. Yeah, because it's being controlled by the ADSR. So what we need to do is send MIDI to that. Right? A MIDI note, like hitting a key. We need to send MIDI to that to tell this amplifier to open to do something to go out to the mixer and into our into the outside world right so how do we do that well we have our midi device here and we have our gate gate is simply note on note off note on note off i don't know if you see my finger note on note off when you press a key when you when you release a key that does that sends a voltage right everything's controlled by voltage so we'll select the gate into the gate here bam all right, so success. I'm pressing a key. And we can adjust the rise. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm pressing different keys, and the, the frequency of the oscillator remains the same. That is bothersome. I'm, I'm going to move the ADSR here. I want you to get used to moving things around. Okay, so I moved the ADSR there. What can I do? What do I want to affect? I want to affect the oscillator. And I know that this MIDI device module will convert the MIDI that I enter into a voltage to adjust the gate, or to, to trigger the gate, and then there's a voltage here, which I know is related to pitch. So what I can do is just drag this over into the oscillator voltage control for the VCO, voltage control oscillator, os oscillator. Drop that in. Friggin' awesome, yo. 
we have ourselves a basic patch, basic saw wave, nothing fancy. And yeah, we can do some interesting things now. So let's just quickly review because this can get a little confusing. It was a little confusing to me as well because I, I don't know modular synths that well. I, I was never really into them. Uh, but since they're, you know, on my computer screen, somehow I've warmed up to them within the last 20 minutes. But yeah, let's just review. So the MIDI comes in and that is converted into voltage. And the voltage, the gate, goes to the ADSR that triggers the voltage-controlled amplifier, right? And then also from the MIDI device, the oscillator is going, the, the, uh, the pitch tracking, I think that's called, is going over to the octave voltage controlled octave input and that's telling it um, what pitch to play the vco at pretty cool and then we have one of four options of outputs that we can have saw going into a vca which is being told by the adsr the adsr envelope when to open and close the level and that's going out to our mixer so let's let's uh hmm Let's add in a filter, VCF, right? It has an input, and it has two outputs, low frequency and high frequency. I'm going to detach this, and I'm going to go from the output of my VCA into the input of the VCF, and I want the low-pass filter to go into the input that we set up. And now we have a filter attached to our VCO. All right, and that's our basic patch, right? One oscillator, one filter, an amplifier, a mixer, and an ADSR for the, ampl uh, the amplitude. Really neat. Um... What else can I what else can I do? Um we can use an oscillator, another uh, VCO, as uh an LFO. Because these are free running, they're just running all the time. Uh, a sine, a triangle, a saw, and a square wave are just running all the time. It's amazing. So I'm going to drop a sine wave into let's go frequency for the filter. Nothing's going on. We need the frequency CV uh, modulation amount to be here. What it's doing is that's the saw wave, or the, don't, sorry, the sine wave is modulating the frequency. And we can adjust the uh, frequency of that VCO. We got basic, like, basically got uh, FM there. <laughs> right, we got, we got some, uh, I guess you'd call it, I don't know, um, yeah, you can't predict it. It's unpredictable sounds. Right? So, and this is, I guess, the magic of uh, modular sense. I never really got into it. It's a little bit too weird for me. But you can do really, unpredict really sorry, unpredictable things. Um, so, I don't know what it's going to sound like when I have the saw wave of this VCO or the sine wave going into the FM of this VCO and what that'll sound like modulating the filter. So we'll increase the FM here. Got like a hard sync sort of thing. Weird, but I can get into it. Um, 
Yeah, uh, let's see here. Can we, can we match the pitch wheel to the, the, the pitch tracking of this one? Right, I didn't even know that would work. But yeah, I, the pitch wheel is controlling the frequency of the LFO, right? And that's just something that happened. Right, and you can just add an, 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 an unlimited amount of these things and get a, a really interesting sound. You know, I'm still learning and exploring myself, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I can also make the triangle wave go into the input of the resonance. I think it's going at like self oscillation mode. Right? You can do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, sky's the limit. Anyway, hope you guys learned stuff. Take care and have a good one. Check it out. It's uh, bcvrack.com. bcvrack.com. It's free. Uh, start out with the 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 the, uh, the basic modules, the ones that uh, it comes with, and I, I'm I'm guaranteeing you, people are going to be developing little tools and uh, utilities and some wacky stuff and then maybe uh hardware makers will kind of copy what they're doing and will kind of push modular sense forward anyway hope you learned stuff take care and have a good one